Welcome. Um, thanks for inviting me and giving us the chance to present our technology. Um, just a few words to, from my person. I'm a process engineer for wastewater treatment plants. I studied in Dresden and I'm focused on now mixing technology and duration. And today I want to show you a technology which is called Alloid, which you have now in your hands. It's a mathematical shape. And a few words for our company. Um, the company is based in Switzerland and we are running the business now from 1933. Uh, we are a small team of nine people, but we have 25 sales partners around the world from Australia to Spain um, and also Mexico, US. Um, our technology is based on mathematics and physics, but in the end we are mimicking nature. So the body, the alloid, we are moving differently and we are generating an impulse flow. And if you're looking to nature and to a fish, that's why I brought this picture here, is if a fish wants to swim efficient, he will always use impulses. He will not do a propeller like we are normally using in mixing technology. So that's why uh, we are mimicking nature with our mathematical shape. And what we are generating is an impulse flow with a small body with a slow rotation and a big effect on the flow. Um, just to show you the, the concept we are doing. So if you're looking to mixing technology, you will normally have a flow from, in this picture, from left to right. Here will be the propeller. So you have a sucking area and a pulsing area. And what we are doing with the shape or the movement of the alloid is that we have a 90 degrees changing and it gives us the chance to bring water from a tank up and impulse it with low energy and keep it in movement. And on this side you will see that it often clients say um, the flow is going everywhere because you can see waves. But the waves is not the general flow. So here you see always on the whole tank there are waves because we are generating them but the main flow is in one direction. Um, now I want to show you the, the fa our family, our products. So if you do a small body, of course you have less flow. If you are getting bigger, the flow will be um, more effective, um, but you will also need more energy. Um, from the technical side, um, we need a special geo box because our, um, to generate the special flow, we need a different movement on these shafts. Uh, everything what we produce is in stainless steel so that we can work in wastewater, chemical, everything. And yeah, we have different sizes. If you are asking about the, the sizes and the names of it, so the name of the product is already 200, 400 and 600. And the number is showing the millimeter of the size of the body. So from there to there, it's the size and if it's bigger we need more energy but also the flow is um, more effective. Um, what we find in wastewater treatment plants, especially in pond treatment plants, is that often the clients are using a lot of aerators but they don't have a good distribution. So normally they do more aeration, more aeration, more aeration to get the oxygen everywhere. Um, but in the end they have dead zones. What we are normally doing in pond, uh, yeah, wastewater is in pond treatment plants, but also in denitrification tanks. And what we are doing is we are bringing the oxygen from the other systems in the flow and distributing them. Um, in some applications, if the aeration we need is not so high, then the alloy can also bring the oxygen. And this is um, um, related to the, to the level of the oligin submerging it. So if you submerge it completely, it's only a mixer. If you submerge it uh, on the surface, you generate waves which are bringing a higher surface. And with the higher surface, it's a natural impact of the, the oxygen going into the water. And also mechanically, if the oligin is moving on the surface, it sucks oxygen inside. Um, just to show one example, because it's, uh, it was a pond, but uh, to show how it works also in different uh, yeah, bigger areas. 
So normally you have uh, in the summer um, a lack of oxygen at the bottom and with the aloeid we bring the, the water up, the cold water up, uh, bring <coughs> the oxygen inside and in the end we have a, a lake. Here you can see the, the oxygen level increasing in the complete water body. Um, now I brought you some examples um, in wastewater treatment plants. This is one of our biggest ones in Mexico. And with the partner there and the engineering group, we redesigned the complete pond treatment plant. And what they had was a lot of order close to the city. So the plant was not running good. What we did is we implemented uh, turbine aerators from our partners, plus our OLI to do the distribution of the oxygen, plus the disinfection at the end. And the result was now running for three years that it's not smelling anymore, the discharge values are better, and the energy input we used is 30 to 40 percent less than before. Um, the second example is from South Africa. So one thing in especially industry wastewater is you need a mixing equalization pond um, to get the volume um, peaks out and also to get the concentration peaks out. And what we did there, just 200 watts, is that we mixed the complete tank of 200 cubics. We did a degeneration of the stabilizers. There was no sedimentation at the complete tank. And the oxygen we brought inside prevented from turning it into anaerobic. And yeah, also one thing about the, the quality of our product, this plant is now running for three years without maintenance. Um, we are using ceramic ball bearings um, at the mixer to have a long life. And the service, if you have to do a service, is quite easy. You, you could do it alone. Um, the third reason or third uh, example is an oxidation ditch, so it's more in the, the active sludge. And what we did is in, we implemented our mixing system in, yeah, in a 380 cubic extent ditch, and they used the mixing system with 2.5 kilowatts with a 3% TSS active sludge. And Normally, the, the value where you want to go is one watt per uh, cubic. And what we saw is that we did, in the denitrification time, the complete mixing of the ditch um, yeah, with 60% less energy. And they saw no settling, so you want to prevent the settling of the, the sludge. And in combination with the aeration system, the, the complete um, biology work better. Um, why the biology work better is because we don't have shearing forces. So if you are looking to a normal propeller, you always have a sharp edge. And the sharp edge will cut the biology. Even if you turn it really slow, you will have an effect on the biology. But with our oloid, we only use uh, surfaces. So we don't have edges. So we are not cutting. and. We also use this in, in algae production, and we saw that we are not hurting any algae. So it's the same in the biology of a wastewater treatment plant. Um, this is just one thing to show that we are using really low energy, so we have the possibility to run our systems by solar power. Um, just to show that it's possible normally in the, the wastewater treatment plants, uh, you have an electricity supply but at some pond treatment plants you don't have, so it can be a solution to do an improvement. Um, I also brought some cost overview, and I calculated uh, the difference for uh, pond treatment plants. So normally you're running a surface aerator, you're running a mixer, and you have a, a total cost of investment of around 9,000 euro or 7,700 pounds. And your operating costs by energy and maintenance uh, is around 2,450 per year. And I have to say that with our small production, the price is a little bit higher for the investment, but normally the machines are yeah, doing the return of investment in three, four years. 
which is, in my point of view, quite good for wastewater treatment plants. Um, <coughs> so a short summary. Um, what we are doing is um, pulsed flow, um, which is different to any other mixing system. The system is an all-in-one solution, so we can do aeration, but we also can combination with other aeration systems. And we normally have in the ponds and also in the wastewater treatment plants an improvement of the, the COD and the BOD. We also have a good mixing and energy saving and everything which is uh, tanks, denitrification tanks, etc. And what I said, we have a low impact on the biology because we don't have shearing forces. Um, and that's it, and I hope I'm in the 15 minutes. Thank you very much.